Well, hey, hello, Quest. Good to see you. Uh, glad to be with you again this week. Uh, I hope you've had a great week. I have had a very unique week. Um, I spent this past weekend in Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, with a bunch of friends from uh, my time in California, where we all served at a church together. At least at some point, uh, we all were there together, and it was an incredibly rich time. Uh, I then got to spend some time in Nashville with a friend there, talking about some really important things. Uh, and it was a discussion that was both very fruitful, but very difficult. Um, so that's been my week. I'm glad to be back, though, and uh, looking forward to this weekend. So there's just a couple of things I wanted to touch base with you about. Uh, one is our upcoming Friday nights at the fight uh, as we continue talking about our marriages. And this one's going to be about uh, communication and conflict resolution. And a friend of mine, John Richardson, is going to be speaking. Uh, and he has a lot of experience in this and helping couples, helping families work through the inevitable conflicts that we have as we need to, to uh, communicate and solve uh, conflicts. So I just uh, encourage you to sign up, come. We're going to have some more fun like we did last time. Uh, the other thing I want to continue to encourage you uh, is be doing those devotionals that we've selected uh, that are called CORE. One is uh, CORE 52 uh, or QUEST 52, uh, but it, uh, picking a passage for every week of the year and kind of wrestling with a particular passage. So the CORE 52 is, it looks at a, kind of a systematic uh, theology, if you will, from Genesis through Revelation and picking some really key things. And then the QUEST 52 is a focus on Jesus. Uh, and 52 different passages about him. And, and I, and I want to keep emphasizing that really this thing called the Christian life is all about Christ and all that God had planned and prepared a time for him to come and be among us, for him to live on earth, for him to then uh, come to seek and to save lost people and to give his life as a ransom for people, for us, for you and for me. And, and I'm reminded in uh, Romans chapter 11, in the last verse, it says, for from him and through him and to him are all things. And to him be the glory forever and ever and ever. That, that really sets Jesus up as, as the most incredible situation ever in all of history, in all of the universe that from him and through him and to him are all things. It's all caught up in the person of Christ. And so as we pursue him and know him and love him and obey him and relate to him and live in him, because he, he is our life uh, in a very unique way of God's presence and his love and his sacrifice for us. So I just want to keep encouraging you to, to make him the highest priority of your heart. And then all the other things in life find their proper position uh, when we have him in the proper place. So today's going to be a little short, but I hope it's not without its emphasis on the incredible uh, priority and centrality of who Jesus is who he always has been, who he is, and who he will always be uh, in the reality of his walk with us and our walk with him. Okay? All right, so Friday nights at the fight in the centrality of Christ and how he is so central in everything we do of the human heart. Okay? All right. Hey, love you guys. Uh, be well. Look forward to seeing you. Uh, take care of yourselves.